The stats shouldn't take you by surprise. 302 million viewers 15 years ago, 228 million viewers now. TV is down 25% on viewership. But the next stat will shock you. My goal is to help, to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 718. I'm your host, Matt Plapp. And like I said in the intro, this is not going to shock you. TV viewership is down 25%. 15 years ago, it was about 302 million people tuning in. Today, it's about 228 million tuning in. But did you know that about 70% of those remaining 228 are 70 years old or older? And ask yourself, as a restaurant owner, who is your target demographic right now? I'm not saying that my mom and dad are not ideal customers for some restaurants, but for the majority of you, they should not be. They don't have as many people eating out with them. They don't eat out as often. They are married to very specific restaurants. They're set in their ways. And they are more budget conscious than us younger folk. Because I know that I will probably be the same exact way then. I can relate. So what I'm talking about here today is the fact that while TV might only look on paper to be down 25%, for you as a restaurant owner, it is down probably 75%. Because the people you're trying to reach are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. The median age for cable news viewers, 70 years old for MSNBC, 69 for Fox, 67 for CNN. The median age... For primetime network TV, you know, ABC, NBC, CBS, 64.6. Meanwhile, social media is dominating the attention of anybody under 64 years old. In fact, 73% of people that are 50 to 64 are active on social media. 81% of 30 to 49-year-olds and 84% 18 to 29-year-olds. Now, what brought up this topic? This topic is the blog post that I did on September 4th, day 148 of the puzzle, my daily blog post. And I brought this up because I still can't believe we hear this on a daily basis with our America's Best Restaurants ABR Roadshow. We talk to probably 200 restaurants a week. And on a daily basis, somebody will ask, where does your show air? And we'll say, hey, we got good news. It doesn't air where you want it to air. What do you mean? Well, you're thinking it's going to air on the Food Network or another cable station. It's airing on Facebook. And sometimes we'll go back and forth where they won't understand that. And the simple question is, how often are you watching TV? And they say, no, nah, never, never do. Why the hell do you think your customers are? And then they reflect on that and go, yeah, you're probably right. And then more importantly, why would you care about getting national exposure on a dying medium? Because as an example, the biggest cable food shows will reach four to 500 people in your area. And it's going to hit one or two times. Whereas if it's on Facebook and Instagram and targeted to your restaurant, it's going to hit 10 to 20,000 people over and over and over. But more importantly, if you just look at the stats and you examine your personal behavior, we all can acknowledge that TV is done. The fact that it's down 25% amongst all viewers and their average age are 70 plus tells you people's attention is 100% on their phone. Because in that exact same time, social media, which was 148 million people 15 years ago, and YouTube, which was 134 million 15 years ago, are now both above TV. So not only are they both above TV with the inflated number of all the 70 plus year olds in there, they're probably triple when you take into account people under 65, the people you should be trying to get their attention of and get them into your restaurant. So my friends, go check out mattplap.com, day 140 of the puzzle. I will talk to you tomorrow.